Creepy skeletons. Freaky clapping monkeys. More creepy skeletons. If you spent time with Fallout 4 so far, chances are you've encountered something frightening. Been to Vault 75? That place is fucking weird. Had a Deathclaw drop right behind you? That's always fun. Either way, here's a countdown of some of the creepiest places you'll come across in Fallout 4. Number 5. Parsons State Insane Asylum. If you are looking for a run-of-the-mill, freaky location to explore, well, here it is. Speak to that guy. Parsons State Insane Asylum. Then, the other guy, and then that guy again, and you've earned yourself the key to Parsons Insane Asylum, the happiest place on earth. This place is as spooky on the inside as it looks on the outside. Skeletons of old patients remain trapped behind cell doors and can be opened if you're looking for a good time. But take the wrong turn, and you'll run into an ensemble performing It's a Small World After All. right turn and you'll discover a laboratory underneath. As to what lies there, well, you'll just have to check that out for yourself. Number 4, Doc Crocker's Sensational Surgery. If you've completed the first of Nick Valentine's investigation quest, The Disappearing Act, then you'll know about this bundle of joy. And if you haven't, well, spoiler alert. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? If you find a clue and then do a thing, you'll end up running into this clown. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, do you? <laughs> Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. If Dr. Frankenstein over here didn't set off any chills, then maybe the dismembered body in pools of blood will. And the fact that this was happening right under the nose of your Diamond City. Not cool, Doctor. Not cool. Number 3, Museum of Witchcraft. As soon as you enter the Museum of Witchcraft, something smells. And no, it's not your vault dweller who is yet to take a shower, but something lurking on the floorboards above you. This place has it all. Mysterious holotape? Check. Freaky mannequins? Check. What the hell is that? Oh my... Connor! And what lies at the end? Go and find out. But if you were hoping for some weird Egyptian thing, then you've come to the wrong museum. Number 2, Pikmin's Gallery. If you've ever wanted to fulfill your love of art in Fallout 4, well, now's your chance! Check out these watercolours. Oh wait, no, I think that's just human blood. Yep, definitely human blood. Welcome to Pikmin's Gallery! It's just like the Louvre, but with dead bodies, and some needy guy who really wants you to find him. But is it worth a visit? Well, it's about as different as art gets in the wasteland, so I think so. And number one, Dunwich Boras. Easily one of the most eerie locations, exploring this area plays out much like an episode of Supernatural. Except with ghouls and the ability to have a nap whenever you want. But that's not to say things don't get scary. You can see a bandit practice their grammar and see these guys go to church in a cave. As to what spooky stuff is actually going on down here, I have no idea. Ah, huh, it actually is like a Supernatural episode, although it's well worth checking out for yourself. If you've come across any other creepy places, let us know below, and thanks for watching.